shadows so. This work is something that's crucial. Integrating your shadow self for us at this time as human beings, I believe. And it's something I've been very focused on for at least 20 or 30 years. Because I had a lot of blind spots, still do. I'm in denial about a lot of things, mainly about myself. And I recognize that. And I recognize that in my early 20s, I really set about to do this work so that I could have loving relationships. I think something that plagued me in my early 20s is I couldn't let go. I couldn't, I was living a very cautious life. I was living a very cautious life and I thought it was about effort. So I put a lot of effort into integrating my shadow self and to becoming a better person and to be more healed. I put a lot of effort into that. And I guess underneath there's this idea in relationships when people break up with each other or they move on from each other, it's this idea that people don't change. And the truth is we're always proving that true to each other. We don't change. And I thought I would be able to figure it out and then years and years and years pass and I'm still falling to the same patterns and I'm still doing the same thing. And there is, you know, healing that occurs. I know that, but then other times there's just so much doubt still. And there's so many ways where I'm just not able to just let go, really, is the main thing, right? And that's the thing, going back to the shadow. Maybe there's been an overemphasis on my shadow, and I've been so focused and trying so hard to integrate it that it ended up not working, you know? That I am very well acquainted in my shadow, but it's almost like that's how I totally identify now. And I only see the negative, and I've been maybe too deep in the weeds on my negative and other people's negative in this world, too. I'm just so focused on the negative and the shadow side and all of our dark side and the terrible things that happen here and the human trafficking and tragedy of, of our own lives when we don't live our potential or we're holding back and we watch ourselves again and again and again sabotage good things or good opportunities that come to us and just don't reach our potential just don't live a life that we're, we feel good about and then you realize it's never been about effort it's never been about study it's been about courage you know, the courage to trust, the courage to let go, the courage to see your shadow side and love yourself anyways. And same thing with other people, to trust in something more than that, to expand, to the ability to let go of control, because control ultimately is coming from fear, and instead to do a type of trusting that's so deep and so profound that the very nature of your life changes. It sounds like we've got some blue jays that have shown up. And the love can come in and you, so then you start to see the good in the world and then that builds and builds and builds. And the shadow is there with you, but it, it isn't you. And that's just a small downfall, and it's something that I, in my work and in my teaching, I, I talk a lot about doing the shadow self, shadow work, but I will say that there's some level of narcissism that can get tied up in there that I've experienced personally, where you become too self-focused and, and still building an identity that ultimately you're going to need to let go of and, and um, not identify as strongly, but... This is where I run out of words. It becomes hard to, hard to talk about, so I do music about it. But um, just wanted to get those thoughts down. Is there anything else that I want to say? I'm home. I'm home. And I'm letting go. And 
I'm staying focused in my present. But I'm thankful for the shadow work that I've done. And I pray that the wisdom that it's brought me will be what carries me forward now.